What's up guys, Jens Gracie here and today I'm going to be reviewing the HP NVX2. It is a hybrid computer meaning you can use it as a notebook or as a tablet. A big thanks to Porter Novelli for sending out the device. Alright, so without further ado, let's take a look at the HP NVX2. The NVX2 has a very stylish design and a great build quality. It feels like a high quality laptop and I didn't even think about the fact that it is also a tablet. Thanks to the aluminum finish for making it feel like such a premium mobile laptop. It is a bit lighter comparing to some of the other mobile laptops like the Samsung Ative Smart PC for example which weighs in at just 400 grams more than the NVX2. What makes this hybrid is the fact that you can either use it as a laptop or as a tablet. Taking a closer look at the tablet, at the front you will see the HP's True Vision web camera integrated with digital microphone which is perfect for video calling. On the left you'll see Beats Audio Branding and NV Model on the right. Below is the Windows logo which is the home button and the stereo speakers on the bottom edge. I was actually a bit skeptical with the placing of it and thought that it will block the sound but it didn't really. Taking a look at the back is an 8 megapixel rear camera and next to that is an LED flash. Now the camera also features an ambient light sensor which detects the exposure around you. The power button is also located on the left side and on the other side you'll see the volume rocker which are both metallic. Micro SD card slot, docking port and headphone jack are also located on the bottom of the tablet. The docking keyboard comes in with the package. The nice feature of it is that it also has a built-in battery inside for a longer battery life. The size of it is just right and the keys felt like just as their other NV products. It also has a trackpad with full gesture support, 3.5mm headphone jack, full sized HDMI port and two USB 2.0s which is also the downside of the laptop. While the lack of USB 3.0 is a minor issue, it would still be a great addition for file transferring. The dock also has a SDHC card reader and a power connector jack. The NVX2 is sporting an 11.6 inch display with a resolution of 1366 by 720 and an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It displays some great quality photos and videos, however in terms of brightness, I would like to see more brightness from it. And if you're wondering about the color temperature, it's more on the warm side. Both front and back camera of the laptop offer some decent quality photos and videos. Though it definitely needs more contrast and saturation, but less on the shadows and highlights. Just like most of all the new mobile laptops, the NVX2 also has a 2GB of non-removable RAM and uses the new Intel Atom processor clocked at 1.8GHz integrated with the PowerVR SGX545 graphics chip which is more focused on power consumption rather than performance. So performance wise the laptop was functioning as fine based on everyday basis which includes creating documents, surfing the web, watching videos or just by playing some light processing games. But that is pretty much it. Based on the system benchmark test using PC Mark 7, it scored at a decent 1412. Now I have also tested the browser's benchmark using Sun Spider and it scored at just about the same as a dual core Pentium processor. Being said that the battery performance is superb, I was actually able to use the laptop for 10 hours with 13% remaining. Now that's with watching a 1-3 hour pay per view, web browsing and creating documents. The brightness is set to 100% and the volume at just 70%. The NVX2 comes with 64GB SSD storage which is upgradable to 128GB with extra cost so it's good to see that there's a USB port there at least to hook up your external hard drives. Connectivity wise it has a dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0 and NFC. The NVX2 is running the full version of Windows 8 at 32-bit so pretty much what you see on the latest Windows 8 will look exactly the same as the X2. Now the problem about it though is you can't really install all the um, Windows software due to hardware issues. Now the boot up is very quick actually thanks to the SSD for making the boot up time at just 12 seconds. While mobile laptops still won't be able to replace full laptops, it could still be a great choice for those of people who aren't spec savvy or for businessmen that are just wanting to be able to carry a laptop or a tablet on the go, then this would be a great choice. While the price is quite pricey at $999, HP still delivers to make this a worthy tablet based on its build quality and functionalities. Not to mention that the keyboard dock is also included as well. So there you have it guys, that is my review of the HP NVX2. 
thank you all for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'm jens kersian i will see you all in the next one